It's the key moment of Armistice Day, the lighting of the flame under the Arc de Triomphe, next to this highly symbolic tomb. Here lies an unknown French soldier killed in World War I, and his tomb represents all of the fighters who have fallen in combat for France throughout history. Armistice Day, celebrating the Allies' victory in World War I and commemorating the battles and lives lost in that conflict, has since 2012 also honored all of the military who have died defending the country. This year, that tribute has focused on a World War II hero, Hubert Germain, a resistance fighter who was among the first to join General de Gaulle in 1940. He was the last member of the special liberation order. They have inscribed their destiny at the sides of those who have carried the spirit of resistance, the love of the free homeland, of refusing division for the honor of France. At barely 20 years of age, Hubert Germain joined de Gaulle and fought key battles against the Nazis and their allies, leading to France's liberation. U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris joined the tribute. I read about him, and what an extraordinary yeah. fellow. Yeah, he had a lot of fire in his belly, as we said. Germain will rest at Mont Valérien, a site where the Nazis executed those who opposed them, which now honors those freedom fighters.